Alright, so we do have a new trailer for Solo A Star Wars Story, and after watching it a few times, I gotta say, it looks considerably better. Everyone is still a little iffy, a little skeptic about this movie because of Alden Ehrenreich, and I don't know if he's gonna pull off being Han Solo. This trailer, at least to me, got me thinking, he might just be able to do it. I mean, the first few shots of the trailer definitely give off that western vibe. You hear a voiceover from Daenerys talking to Han Solo, saying you're after something, either revenge or money or something. You see Han Solo in a classic western style standoff with some alien guy, and you just know he's gonna shoot first, cause Han always shoots first. Han shot first! Han shot first! Han shot first! And I gotta say, he actually sounds more like Han Solo here. I'm a driver, and I'm a flyer. He does sound more like Harrison Ford, at least to me. Either that or I'm just getting used to it. But in this trailer, we finally get to hear Donald Glover as Lando for the first time. Everything you've heard about me is true. All right. I'm convinced. I mean, it didn't take much. We all knew that Don Glover was perfect casting for Lando. Hearing him speak now just confirms it. And also that droid, L337, who I talked about in my video about the teaser. This trailer gives her a little bit of spotlight, and it looks like she's kind of a tough droid. It's like she's Lando's security guard or something. This is like the real anti-C-3PO. You know how when we all saw K2SO from Rogue One, we were all like, oh, he's the anti-3PO. I mean, I guess K2 was kind of a tough guy, but he was also kind of funny comedic relief, which C-3PO is definitely also. L3 doesn't seem like comedic relief here. I feel like this movie being kind of a space Western, it's gonna feel like Firefly, where like the whole ensemble crew is gonna have comedic moments that bounce off each other. I mean, you got a pretty legit crew here. You got Han Solo, you got Chewbacca, you got Daenerys Stormborn, you got Lando, you got Beckett played by Woody Harrelson, and you got tough droid L337. Pretty well balanced crew, I'd say. Crew of the Millennium Falcon, which now you get a good look at the old style or old style look of it. And yeah, it still looks weird. Tell me if I'm wrong, but the whole like the front nose or snout-ish part of it looks longer than the actual Falcon does. I'm just saying if that's how this Carillion ship, the Millennium Falcon used to look, Han Solo must have really worked hard over years to make it his own, making all those special modifications. Maybe there'll be a point in this movie where he looks at the Falcon and he's like, I don't like how it looks. I'm gonna change it. I don't know. Or maybe since the ship used to be Lando's, Han Solo's gonna be all like, not only did I win the ship from you, but I'm just gonna piss on it by making it my own. Just to be all like, eh, the ship's mine now. <laughs> I can do whatever I want with it. Which would make Han Solo kind of a dick. Which he is. At the beginning of the original Star Wars, anyways. I mean, the movie does look great, you know, par for the chorus with the visual effects with Disney these days. Although I got a pretty good laugh when Han Solo said, I got a really good feeling about this. Because we all know the classic Star Wars line is that I got a bad feeling about this. So just kind of hearing the opposite of that made me laugh. Also, that last scene when Han Solo's talking to Chewie, apparently Chewie is 190 in this movie. I do remember hearing somewhere that Chewbacca was 200 years old at the time of the original Star Wars movie, which would place Solo a Star Wars story 10 years before Star Wars, which actually makes a lot of sense to me. That explains why Alden Ehrenreich's Han Solo seems so different from Harrison Ford's, because he's 10 years younger. Boom, that makes sense. So yeah, all in all, in the end, I find myself really looking forward to this movie now. Again, I don't know if it's gonna be as good as like Force Awakens or Empire Strikes Back, but there was really nothing I didn't like in this entire trailer. So good job, Lucasfilm. So the new trailer for Solo, A Star Wars Story. Have you seen it? What was your favorite part? Whatever it is, go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.